Hi there. Welcome back to Live, Learn, Practice, where I am um, just living, learning, and practicing uh, what I can, what I know, and what I don't know. Uh, today we're playing uh, Diablo 3, and I'm using the Necromancer. Uh, and we are entering the Legacy of Cain, search for signs of Deckard Cain. So, let's get it on. It's a pretty big map. Um, yeah. And and most most of Diablo's maps are, are pretty big. It's a looting game, so you're going throughout the whole map trying to figure out what's going on. Um, and yep. It'll take a little bit of a time to kind of get adjusted to what the story is about, but this is pretty much the very beginning of the stories. I could bring that down. Good thing I got the Necromancer to be able to. Because in many ways he allows me to, um, uh, whatchamacallit, summon my own crew. Because it's kind of lonely, kind of traveling. So if, um, you get a chance to play with the crew, that'd be awesome. But today we're, today we're not playing with the crew. Uh, we are playing on hardcore mode, so that's that's something to think about. As uh, a hardcore mode, man, you die, you die, yo. One of those situations. And I played this game two, three years ago, like hardcore. And it didn't ever dawn on me to kind of record my own. So it was kind of nice to be able to have a brand new character to kind of walk through. I used to play um, as the monk or the wizard. I've tried that, the barbarian. I pretty much tried every single one of the characters. Once the kind of nice to have this newness to it. I left only to honor my land and they're doing all these. No man has a greater uh, love seasonal for his uh, character, so you kind of have to Even start over. My blade through I lose all my corrupted heart. Uh, extra skills, but it's all good. It's, you know, definitely just wanted to try and see what this looks like. It's been a while. It seems like people, are, some people are still playing um, this game, and some people aren't. That's cool. Um, that's the fun thing about. Um, Video games is there's so many games out there uh, right now, and I don't think that's stopping. There's so many of you. So, yeah, no, if you enjoy it, um, let me know in the comment section. I'll continue to play and make videos uh, about Diablo 3 or so. Let me know. Yeah, see, when you're by yourself, man, it's just. Oh shoot! Not and that essence. that guy is uh, one of the most trickiest dudes. Um, the one that explodes. Uh uh man, you want to get out of the way real quick. You're in trouble if you don't. Just after you're pretty much My what you're doing is, you, is you're gonna little. die. Any explosion at at this it's stage lustrous. in the game, playing on hardcore, mm -mm. it's the worst the idea. Here there. and whispered dark and evil magics into it. Instilling the notion of an imminent attack. So that's why by I would say just afraid to speak against the Archbishop. The counselors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off to die. Bad idea, that's
That's the thing about hardcore mode, man. I mean, take that risk. It's not fun. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I have tons of fallen heroes, and it's not fun to see them gone and and all that work you put into it. But not enough essence. Well, I haven't made the game somewhat. Um, Yes. You feel like as though you can no lose something. Because if you feel like, like like you didn't you wouldn't lose anything, just stand there. I mean, you could literally put a rubber band on and lose a big battle. I just said watch. Or if they haven't seen this in a while, the turbo button uh, uh, controllers that they used to have. So there was that. But that's that's no fun. When we returned from our horrific defeat in Westmarch, my beloved king lost all pretense of sanity. He seethed with rage, spitting curses upon us as traitors. With great sorrow, I ran him through. Yeah, they see, yeah, they see. Sorry, it's really cool to have a crew with you, because... Cover more ground that way. And also, uh... oh, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. How That's the dangerous part back. too, though. You don't want to match up with someone who's stronger than you. The skeleton king. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all. Oh, Will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. Feeling I have to go help him. <laughs> yeah, no, I have to help him. Look at that. He's getting beat up. Unless, you know, he's an NPC. I'm pretty sure he'd be okay if I didn't do anything. But, Stay back. What up, yo? Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? I believe we can aid each other. Your niece told me you were here. Oh, it is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Get out of here, then. We must discuss the fallen... Yes, we will. Go. I have found Leah's uncle, Deckard Cain. He was pursued by a creature called the Skeleton King, who blocks the path to the Fallen Star. All right. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Friend? I am not often called that. But I wish to know more about the Fallen Star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. All right. Well, I am going to go ahead and stop there. We found Decker Kane. Uh, and I will upload this video and let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to continue this journey. And I will uh, talk to you all, see you all, and um, uh, check, check it out for more content. I will be uh, continuing to post some more stuff. Talk to you later. Peace.